Welcome to the Seekers Forum with Mark Matusik. On this edition of the Forum, Mark speaks about awakening genius. Now, here's Mark. Thank you, everybody. It's good to be with you today. I hope you're having a good early fall. It's my favorite season of the year. It always feels like new beginnings for me. I, I was one of those nerdy kids that always look forward to going back to school. So when September comes around, I always feel myself getting kind of excited, uh, like who's going to be in class, you know, and, and, and uh, what am I going to learn this year? So that's the energy for me of the autumn. It's even though the, the leaves are falling, there's a sense of renewal uh, and there's a sense of, of moving deeper uh, into oneself after the, the, the playful season of summer. So uh, I want to talk to you today about awakening genius. Uh, the subtitle for this course when I teach it is An Exploration of Desire and the Creative Life. Uh, we're going to be looking today at what I mean by genius, why this force would need to be reawakened in us. Uh, we're also going to be looking at the ways that we lose connection with our inherent creativity. Where does it go? You know, how do we, as Buckminster Fuller put it, become degeniused as we as we uh, go along. You know, he said that everyone is born a genius, but the process of living degeniuses us. What does that mean? And next we're going to be looking at the connection between creativity, desire, and spirituality, and how intertwined they are uh, as forces of productivity and self-awareness in us. And finally, we're going to be looking at five portals, doorways into our inherent creativity uh, and how we can find our way back to our core, find our way back to our center uh, and live our lives from that whole place, from that place where we are in our strength, where we are in our power. So let's start by looking at the word genius. Now, you know, I get a lot of flack for using this word. Uh, because people think of genius as Albert Einstein or Mozart, you know, genius as being some kind of supernatural, preternatural ability, and not, uh, not a quality for the likes of us. But I'm using the word genius the way the ancients used it. In, in ancient Rome, the Latin word genius actually means the spirit that each of us is born with. They call it a tutelary deity. In other words, uh, some people might call it the angel uh, or your guardian spirit. Uh, that's the sense that I use the word genius uh, in, as something that we are all born with. It is all, it is all of our birthright, and everyone's genius is completely unique. So in the same way... Sample complete. Ready to continue?